What up, peeps and peepettes? Morbtron back today with more Destiny 2, and today we are looking at the Atalanta D. This is the first weapon review from Curse of Osiris from me, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. This SMG rips people's faces apart. So, to begin with, it's got precision frame, so it does more precision damage, which is its hidden perk that it doesn't tell you about, plus its recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. Which makes it really, really good. Really good. Um, I'm using the GA post sight. You can switch to the medium as well. You gain some range, but lose some handling. And it's an SMG. So either way, you're going to be using it in close quarters. So stick with GA post. I'm using steady rounds over extended mag because that reload speed. Ugh. I mean, you gain three bullets and you lose half of your reload speed and a ton of stability. Not worth it. Uh, this thing also has tap the trigger, granting a short period of increased stability and accuracy on initial trigger pull, which makes this thing a bullet hose that's like a laser beam. It's amazing. Um, now, you'll notice that I am rocking as much of the new Vex armor as I can. Uh, these are the new um, Tess Everest armor gloves, and this is just the Mercury stuff. I uh, don't have a chest piece for it yet, but I'll get there, I'm sure. Alright, also, I do have a cold, so every now and then I will mute my mic, um, to cough or whatever. Um, I could try all day to get a recording without a cough or a sneeze or whatever, but it's just not going to happen, so bear with me. Por favor. Um, now, this SMG does run out of ammo fairly quickly, so to back it up, I will be using the Positive Outlook, um, which is a new Vanguard auto rifle. I will review this auto rifle at a later date. And in case I do feel like picking up uh, power ammo in the Crucible, I've got the Colony Grenade Launcher, which I will also review at a later date. But let's go in here. I'm going to a Lost Sector, the new one on Mercury. Um, pretty sure there's only one. So you can kind of see here, this thing looks like the Antiope, but it's got a big old silencer on it. And I think it's a little bit better. Maybe, you know, we'll tap the trigger. Um, it, it, it is amazing. I mean, this, this gun is just fantastic. But, it, like, I don't know if they tuned the ammo or or what, but I tend to run enough ammo uh, quickly. All right, cough over. Bam! Wreck your face! And like I said, this thing is ju it's just... Oh, man, it feels so good. Like, especially on the new Crucible maps. The one specific new Crucible map. Um, on Titan. It's really, really close quarters. Uh, this thing rips on that map. About to run out of ammo. But you know what? We're gonna have some of the colony action. Take one of those. Take one of those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right in your face. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Right in your face. Alright. And we're gonna let that thing reload itself. Because it does that. Hammer time! Oh, I gotta dodge my hammers like a pro! Thought I was gonna figure, finish you off with some Atlanta D. I'm gonna, really, I'm, I'm gonna call it the Atlanta D, because that's what it almost looks like. Alright, they're just lining up to get punched. Hi. Alright, cleared it out. Let's see what we get from loot. Hey, we got four, Oh, okay. I was gonna say four tokens, holy crap! No, that was a, that was a challenge. Alright, we're gonna go into some Crucible Town. And, uh, see what this thing can do. Alright, so we're heading on down to Crucible Town to check to see how the Atlanta D does with our ugly Vex armor. 
It looks good with a shader. Doesn't look so good with my, my clown colors right now, but, you know, I'll get there. Hey, Distant Shore. Not a new map, but, you know, whatever. Supremacy. We got Supremacy, which plays very well into SMGs, so this could be a very, very good match. We'll give it a try. This would be my fifth attempt at getting a good, um, a good game. And not the weapon's fault. More like... Yeah, yeah you grab that. Oh, he's got the new OP linear... Or, uh, fine rifle. Whatever it may be called. That guy's also got it. Change the lead. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just delivered my crest to that guy because he has good aim with a hand cannon. That'll happen. Um. But as I was saying before, uh,. I cold maybe forget what I was doing. Um, the matchmaking was, has been kind of poop today, so far. And not just kind of poop, it's been real poop. Like, real big stinky poop. Thank you for the team shot, friendo. I did not have the ammo to keep that guy pinned down and to finish the job. When you want to grab that, that'd be great. I will go grab this one if I must. Yes. Now show them the true meaning of war. Ow. That thing is super OP. There's so much damage. All right, let's grab these crests before the Animaso kills me. Okay. He's got another new SMG, the new city. I've also got that sitting in my vault. That one looks a little weird, though. It's got, like, this foldable stock that you don't unfold and use. I'm not really sure what the game plan was there. Down. With that weapon, but... Like man, we are kicking butt this game. This little SMG's been doing some work, too. Nope. Guy's using the Uriel's Gift. That weapon's still OP. They said they were going to be changing that, but they did not. Minutes remaining. Yep. Yep, that guy's got a laser sight with that, uh, that old fashioned. No amount of jumping around shenanigans could have saved me from that guy. I'm gonna put one of those right there. This guy's got power ammo of some kind. He's got a sword! Ha ha ha! Alright, that worked. I punched at him and he just kind of exploded. I'll take it. Let's go secure these. Okay, no, they, they've got the crests, alright. And my team knows what, we're, knows what they're doing. Feels, uh, feels kind of good to be on this side of one of these matches. Oh, that guy with the old-fashioned, though. Victory imminent. He's putting in a ton of work. Now he's doing the head glitch over there. Not doing that. Not falling for a head glitch like the rest of my team just did. Come on. I really don't want to charge out there because I'm going to be surrounded. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. So you can hit people from range with this thing. Does it do any damage? Not really. 
Okay, he just went and stood in one of my grenades. Oh no! And then he exploded. We'll take it. And that guy exploded. Alright, you do get a ton of rewards from the from these uh matches now. I didn't even get to use my super. Somebody just popped off hard on my team. Maybe I had my super and I just wasn't paying attention. We got a 2.75 KD. So, we got the least amount of kills on the team, but we were restricted to short range. So, that being said, I think it did really, really well. This weapon is amazing um, and would recommend 10 out of 10. Uh, is, it a, is it better than the Antiope D? Uh, I think so. I think it, uh, with its perks, with... Precision frame, and steady rounds, and tap the trigger, that combination. Along with this thing just looking really cool. Um, get, get yourself one, or two. If you can dual wield these things, that'd be amazing, but, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, get yourself one. It's better than the Antiope. I'm gonna say it now. Calling it now, folks. Better than the Antiope. But uh, that is going to be it for this episode, so if you liked it, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you have anything to say, that's what the comment section's for. Do not forget to have a good day, everybody, and I'll catch you all next time.